Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. My semester just starts, so it's getting very, very busy for me to just work on Altium and some other cool things. But today, I found some little time to make a video. So previously, we've been talking about, I mean, I kind of showed how to do the hierarchical design in a way that I feel like maybe was more uh, kind of understanding, maybe not. But I also made an error. I mean, it was not really an error. It was like we're having some some error when we're trying to compile the project. And the, the, the common error that I was having, and I didn't really talk about it because I was very intense or, or very excited to show how the hierarchical design works and how can you draw your hierarchical design. So I didn't really fix the problem. But before we start talking about how to make rooms, just want to show you that I'll just make sure in the hierarchical design, the naming are kind of correct. So this kind of really helps. Whatsoever, we're just going to import this thing into our layout and we're gonna see how it looks like but before we do so I just want to show you some 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 project option okay if you go to the project option this class generation is very crucial I'm telling you we're, we're probably going to have some three or four more videos of about the room so you might consider this is a room how to make a room for your schematic number one not room for your permit but room for your pcbs so always make sure you turn on certain things that you really want to generate rooms for i tried to do this one and it's kind of messed things up for some reason i might show you how to do it using this i don't think you even need that but when I select my other components like filter, relay, SMAs, and I, I make sure that these are checked in, then that really works. That works. But when I have the top design as a check in for generating room, it really messes up for some reason. I don't know why. But maybe I should dig into it more and try to see what is the problem. Or maybe if you know about it, I'll highly appreciate it. Because I'm still a newbie, I'm trying to learn. As a part of my learning, I'm trying to make this video so that it will be easier for me in the future to track back. And also easier for other people, even my kids, I guess, to see <laughs> how, to, how to do design in Altium. I'm just kidding. By the way, this user-defined thing is another kind of cool stuff. Uh, we might talk about it in our second video. But for today's video, always remember to go back to your class generation and make sure Make sure that you have those, these things are selected for you generating the room. Yeah, very easy, right? So we're sure, but there's some cool op um, option, we, which we're going to talk about later as well. But this video kind of focus on how can you make the room. So I'm going to just say, OK, and then I'm going to do design and update for PCB document. And then I'm going to validate the changes, just like an engineering changes going on. And here you go. One thing is very weird. Well, first of all, these are basically the room I'm talking about. But one thing is very weird here, is that some of my component, I don't know how it does it, some of my component goes really far. Like this, is it goes out of the boundary for some reason. If there is a quick fix, if you guys know about how can I fix this thing, or made it not to happen like that, I will highly appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, if I find some time, I will try to figure out where's the problem. But whatsoever uh, i kind of researched about it it was talking about the unique id you have on your maybe component i'm not really sure really what is it but let's talk about it later so we have some rooms around and i kind of want to get them apart from each other so that we can see what this looks like it's definitely your filter filter one filter two filter three kind of looks very nice it's nicely way right so how to use a room since your room has been created means you can move into your apartment <laughs> but no, not really so i do have some naming like a filter and some text i i'm not gonna really mess around with them but what i'm gonna do right now is i, I want to expand my room a little bit more and i'm gonna kind of i kind of want to just make it look like i'm ready for designing the filter so i will just go ahead and kind of start placing some of the components so maybe inductor here's um, for this video, don't really care about, I'm not really going to care about the, the text inside of the fill because all I'm trying to do right now is to have a placement for my components. So 
I kind of want to make it look like more nicer. Okay, kind of more nicer. C2 is here. I don't care about the naming as I said before because all I'm trying to do is just to show how this thing works, right? Okay, so I can also reduce the size of the room. So once I make some kind of placement like that, I can just go to design and then I can go to room. I can go to my bedroom now. This one, copy room format. You copy it one click, just one click on this one. Go to your second room. Maybe in this case filter too. Click on it and then read this thing what it's trying to say. Maybe not too important. Maybe, maybe important, maybe not. But for me, it's not really important. So I'm going to do it. Just click OK. So if I click OK, guess what? It's looking more nice. <laughs> it's looking like a room has been perfectly set up for me, right? <laughs> like in your hotel, when you call them, hey, I'm going for inland summer inn in Florida for a land trip and you waitress, not really waitress, <laughs> the receptionist or someone who called the person, hey, fix a room or make it look nicer. The same way it kind of works in a, in a way. One thing is kind of interesting about this is you can also probably do some traces. You can probably do some traces. So if I, if I, I don't know, maybe this is, yeah, if I kind of, if I kind of, Let's start trying to draw some maybe layout, I guess. Maybe layout. Maybe. If I start drawing some layout, uh, maybe like this. And if I do. Here we go. Like this. Maybe this going here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's do there, I guess. There's some trees down there. Sorry, I'm kind of. I, I kind of flip things up. I don't care. I just want to do the design and kind of show how you can also copy the traces, which is pretty cool. So, and I'm going to use some maybe a via via to my other layer. Oh, guess what? I I really don't have a ground plane. So it's kind of kind of crazy that how I'm doing it. I really don't have any. Well, I do have a bottom layer. I do have a bottom layer. So I can use it as my ground layer, right? So this is my top, this is my bottom layer, and I can use it as my ground layer. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a polygon, but before I do so, as f as for my last video, I talked about how you can shelve your, your polygons and how you can just do it from the design rules. So you can just go to your, where is it, unrouted probably net, I don't remember what it is, uh, it's called unpure or somewhere, I don't know where it is, here you go, unpowered polygon. You can click on this thing just to make sure, or you can just do the shelved manually. So whatsoever, let's just make a polygon. I'm gonna make a polygon in a weird way because I really don't care about having a nice looking polygons. The video is all about the demonstration. So we're gonna, we just made the polygon. We're gonna give it a name, a child name. We're gonna say this is ground, okay? This is ground. We're not gonna report it. Maybe maybe let's do reporting it, okay? Maybe report it. Just to be careful. And maybe also shelved it. I don't really wanna see this right now. So let's just shelve it. And now now go to your first layer again. First layer, here you go. Turn on turn on this. Open your top layer. And make it to a ground. Now if you want to make it to a ground. F11, open your properties, go to your net, and and select it as a ground. The same thing we're gonna do with this guy, right? Go there and select it as a ground. Now, simply just just set them as an add, connect to the ground, those cool thing, right? As a ground, that's it. Now there's some other other stuff you can probably do, but this video is just a demonstration. We don't really care about it. Now, now if you if you go to your design again, if you go to your room and if you do copy copy room format, click on here, then click on there as well, and try to make sure that whatever you need is is everything is here as well. So I'm gonna do my whole connection okay match well looks good not too bad maybe there are some other settings could be important 
But here you go. You just copy and paste and everything is just like <laughs> like copying, right? It's kind of cool. So the same thing I'm going to do with my other friend. My other friend. Maybe this room is for my friends. Okay. Now, if I go and if I do design and, and a room and, <laughs> and copy rooms, click on it. Go here. Make it into room. Looking nice. Nice, nice looking room. <laughs> So this is it. This is like how you can make a room and how can you basically use it to make your design looks perfect. Oh, you can also define rooms manually. And as I said before, I don't really care about the naming here. The name is looking very messy, look really disgusting. But all the video is about how to make a room and how can you use a room and how can you utilize it in the best way possible. So that's all for the video. I know it's very long, like 10, 11 minutes. It's supposed to be like two, three minutes. Um, well, if you have a time, maybe that's great <laughs> if you feel like oh it should be only one two minutes video you made it like 11 minutes then really really the shout out hey your videos are video sucks <laughs> or something but that's how you can basically use the rooms and take it utilize it in a very great way i'll probably make two or three videos more about it but that's all for today see you later